Hyundai brought this concept car, which Roger loves. I think Roger actually put this on his top five, I think. And it is a pretty car. Wow. It is a pretty car. It's interesting. And the interior is kind of cool. But you know what? You see these future concepts all the time. And frankly, after like 10 years, they all start to look kind of the same. Almost all of them have suicide doors. Almost all of them have this sort of envelopment interior that sort of wraps around you. Uh, all of them have jungle, uh, like, drum beat music. It just happens. You start talking about a car, and you have to uh, dance. But there is something to be said about a double opening door with no B pillar at all. However, I just don't think that it's, there's anyway, any practicality in it at all. Still, Roger loves this car. He wants to put this in his top five. Here it is. To me, this car's fine. It's not a bad car. Gary says no one will buy it. And when you think about it, it's an interesting point. Would you buy an NSX over a Lamborghini for a Ferrari 458? Would you do that? Maybe. Lexus did the LFA, and that sold out. Didn't make very many, and they sold them for $350,000. But I think every car needs a halo car. I think the biggest problem with the Japanese manufacturers is that they don't have one. Uh, you know, what's the halo car for Honda? What's the halo car for Acura? Which would be the NSX, this thing, NSX. Halo car for Nissan, at least they have the GTR. Toyota? Anyways, I say build it. Gary says don't. He may be right, but I say build it. All right.